Welcome back y'all to another tutorial and in this video we are going to be talking about how to listen for edited messages and also reactions because who doesn't love reactions? All right, now the first thing I want to mention is I did create the new file for this tutorial, number two reactions and edits, and I basically just copied the first file and removed some of the stuff. So anyways, we just have the on ready function because I like to have a little status to print out to say when the spot is ready. And then just that little check to make sure that our bot isn't responding to its own messages. And yeah, just wanna give you guys that starting point. So now what we wanna do is go ahead and talk about how to listen for edited messages. So due to laziness, I'm gonna be copying that little snippet. And all right, so instead of on message, this event is called on message edit. Now, instead of taking in a single message, what this passes in is actually the before message and the after message. So for this, what I'm gonna do is just to show you guys the, you know, basically just how it works. I am gonna be sending back the message that they originally sent and then the new version of the message. So it's the same concept as before. However, remember, whenever we are sending a message from the bot, we have to specify what channel it's being sent on. And since this has two messages, we actually just need to pick one. So we can just say the before channel, or in other words, the original message channel. So before.channel.send, what we are gonna be doing, and we can use the F string for this, is we can say, do a little pep eight cleanup here, is that the author, and we can say edited a message. And then on the next line, we can just say what it was before, or in other words, the original message. So before.content, and on the last line, we can just say after, after.content. And actually, before I run this, this should be content, not continent. And all right, that looks good to go. So let me go ahead and run this. And once it pops online, there we go. So now I can write something like, I love beefcake. Hit enter and OMG, what a terrible mistake. What I meant to write was, I love cheesecake. And all right, our bot recognizes that I edited that message and it prints out Bucky in my full username, edited a message or edit a message. There's a little typo there. Before I love beefcake, after I love cheesecake. And this is just a cool way where you can make sure that no user on your Discord server can ever live down any of their mistakes whenever they have a typo. It just really uh, embarrasses them in the biggest way possible. Kidding, of course, but this is actually useful because whenever you are writing a Discord bot, you usually want to make this, of course, event-based. In other words, whenever a user writes something, you want your bot to respond in a certain kind of way. However, the tricky part about this is that users can actually change their messages. In other words, edit their messages. So whenever this happens, you want your bot to typically be, behave in a very specific way. And that's the usefulness of this, why I decided to set aside some time making a tutorial on this. But now that we understand the basics of handling edited messages, of course, with the before and after messages, let's go ahead and move on to something a bit more interessante. I think that means interesting in some kind of language, but who knows? All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna wanna do is let's say whenever the user types the word cool, that we are gonna add a reaction for the sunglasses. So this one right here. So whenever we want to be adding a reaction, what I typically do is just, see if I can pop open Chrome right here. I just type in emojis to Unicode and click on one of the first you know, links that pops up. So what I'm gonna search for is sun glasses and I'm just gonna copy this Unicode and I'll show you guys how to convert this so you can use it in your function later on. But make sure you copy some kind of reaction that you want. Now on this on message, what we can do is, we saw this before, whenever the user said hello and we responded with welcome to the new Boston, we're gonna follow the same pattern. If message.content equals cool, 
So whenever a user types cool, what we want to do is just add a reaction to that message. So we're going to await message dot add reaction. And remember, we're just going to paste in that Unicode that we saw on the website right here. So it was U plus one F six zero E. Now, whenever you actually use this in Python, you have to convert this plus to a triple zero. And you also have to escape this U kind of annoying, but you know, Python Unicode, not the uh, best of friends as I'm sure a lot of you guys know. So anyways, uh, the meat and potatoes of this is that whenever a user writes cool, we are just going to have our bot respond with our sunglasses reaction. So now let me go ahead and rerun this, wait for it to come online. And all right, so just to make sure we can say uh, apples, okay, bacon. Okay, now let's go ahead and write cool. And our bot is gonna respond with this. We see tutorials bot reacted with sunglasses. Very cool, pun intended, of course. All right, so now we saw, okay, this is how your bot can add a reaction to people's messages, but what if we want our bot to listen for when other people add reactions, and maybe we can inspect them and do something later, but for right now, we'll just say, let's listen for when a user added a reaction to any message and just print something out in the, uh, in the channel. So, of course, due to epic laziness, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that little snippet in the client event for this is on reaction add. Now, what Discord passes in whenever this event is triggered is the reaction and the user who left the reaction. So the reaction itself is, just think of it like the emoji. It has some other information as well, but you can just think of it as the emoji. And the user is of course the author of it. So what we can do is we can just say like Bucky reacted with sunglasses or Bucky reacted with thumbs up, whatever we wanna say. So in order to find the channel to send the message, we can actually pull this from the reaction object. So what I'm gonna be doing is saying for the reaction, we wanna get the message that they left the reaction on and we want to get the channel from that since we always need to specify a channel of where we are sending the message. So of course on the message object, it comes with the channel object and we're just calling the send function from that. And we can use F strings again and we can just say something simple like the user, in other words, it was the person who um, left the reaction, reacted with, and then for the reaction, the emoji is just the property emoji. So if Bucky is gonna leave sunglasses, it's gonna say user reacted with sunglasses emoji, but it's probably just easier if we take a look at this. So let me just uh, make one of my own messages. I'll say hello, just so we have a message to react to. And I'm gonna thumbs up this, and it says Bucky reacted with thumbs up. And let me go ahead and, um, what's another one? Uh, what about this mustache dude? Okay, Bucky reacted with mustache dude, and there you go. So again, not that interesting right here, but there are actually some pretty cool stuff that you can do with these reactions. If you guys ever saw like voting system or polls or you click your reaction and then you get a specific type of role, it isn't just printing out who left what reaction because of course you can just see that above. But there you go. These are some of the core building blocks for a lot of Discord bots. So editing messages, looking how we work with reactions, a bunch of cool stuff going on here. But for now, that is all we get for this tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later.